Captain. Welcome to my cabin. <laughs> what do I want? Why you look around? I am inviting you to dine with me. Surely you must be tired of leftover cabin food. <laughs> I am offering a nice dinner for a change. After all, we are only two days sail from port. Might as well make it a nice two days to remember. Savvy? <laughs> I had a fear that you'd say that. Because it is either dine with me or dine with the crew. And I can promise you dining with the crew is a much more messy affair than dining with me. Hmm. That's it though. Now please, dig in. Hmm. Ugh. For fuck's sake. It isn't poisoned. Air. Shin? <laughs> no poison. Now you're down half a ham slice. Eat. <laughs> I have all this food because I don't let the food we have spoil. We eat it before it starts to smell like the cabin boy's bloomers. <laughs> That's not a slight on you, darling. I'm just saying, we don't let things go to waste here. So, Captain, tell me, what happened to your ship? Mmm. Mmm. I see. <laughs> well then. So, let me see if I've got this right. You were smuggling at... <laughs> Yes, Captain. Transporting that kind of cargo in these waters is smuggling. You were smuggling, and you had a rat on your ship. Got sold out, Navy found you, and sank your ship. That's a rough lot. <laughs> no, nothing like that ever happened to me. I keep my crew in check. They're fed well, they're paid well, they're loyal, and they know when they cock up, it's on their heads. <laughs> Again, not slight in you, darling. Not everything's personal, you know. Eh, I, I guess when you put it that way, it is a bit personal. Believe me, Captain. If I didn't have an entire crew to keep paid and fed, I wouldn't be just tossing you off to the Navy at the next port. Mm. You were a captain. You know the links we'd go to for our crew. How'd I get to be a cap? Huh. Funny story. I was stowed away on a navy ship when I was 13. Hmm. My father died of a lung issue, and my mother spent her time in the brothels rather than with her children. <laughs> yes, children. I have uh, two sisters, one brother. Ah, don't ask me that. I don't know where they are now, and I'm pretty sure if they knew who I was, they wouldn't have anything to do with me. 
Captain, please. That doesn't matter now. Anyway. I hid under three large sacks of potatoes and waited. No matter where I ended up, it would have been better than under the thumb of Migran, who was a very angry woman. I. Unfortunately, I was discovered, and the first officer was feeling particularly cruel that morning. He tossed me overboard with only a rotting plank to keep me afloat. I floated through the waters for nearly a day. I was on the brink of death when I was picked up by the captain of the Red Hood. Aye, Red Hood. You've heard of him, then? Good man. Scary with a sword. Well, he fed me, nursed me back to health, and I insisted on becoming his cabin boy till we reached a port. <laughs> Lucky for me, he let me stick around longer than that. I eventually rise and... I became his quartermaster. After about ten years, I saved up enough to buy the burning soul. Hired a crew, treated him well. Hmm. And that's it. <sighs> Listen. I guess it's only fair that I'm honest with you. We're running low, coin-wise. My crew needs to eat properly. They need medicine, ship repairs. All of that takes coin, especially these days. Ain't no one helping out pirates out of the kindness of their hearts. It ain't personal, Captain. It's just business. Hmm. <sighs> I... I guess if I'm to be handing you over, I guess I can try and give you a last wish or something. Aye, a last wish. A person shouldn't die unfulfilled. Name it. What do you want to do before the Navy gives you a, <clears throat> a rope necklace? Come on, Captain, I can at least try to give you something. A last dance. Like, um... A dance? Dance? Huh. Well... That I can do. Am I leading? Yes? Alright. Forgive me, but my waltz is a bit rusty. <clears throat> That's right. Ha hand in mine. Other on my, uh, on my waist. But you know, maybe I'm not so bad after all. You are, uh, you're pretty good at this. Did you get a lot of practice aboard the Raven? No. Where'd you learn then? Most pirates dance like they lost both feet. Your parents taught you. Huh. You know, I respected the hell out of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the stories that flew around the taverns. Golden Raven's captain was legendary at outrunning the navy. <laughs> I, uh, 
I'm sorry a rat ruined everything for you. I'm sorry, Captain. I can't just let you free. My crew needs the money. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, darling. But any treasure would take days to get to. You're the closest payout that I can get. I'm sorry. Raven Ballad. Captain, that's a... <sighs> that treasure is a fool's dream, you know that? Anyone that gets even remotely close to that island does not come back. That's suicide mission. <sighs> a map. Captain, I appreciate the candor, but I am not risking my crew because a desperate captive has said so. I'm sorry. But this is how it ends. <laughs> Don't... <coughs> Don't touch me. <coughs> it's fine. Uh, I... <coughs> I don't need your help. <coughs> I'm fine. It's fine. It's nothing. It's just a cough. It was. Back off. No. No, I do not need your help. I don't need anyone's help. Just go back to the brig. I said back off. Oh, thank God. Vex, take him back to the brig. Now. Get to the bed. Fuck. 